between E-Pro versus Omega. Recap muna tayo ng lineup natin. For Team E-Pro, we have Coco on the Terizla, Rebo on Selena, EJ on this Grok, Yuji for this Harriet, and Yeli Hayes naman gamit-gamit ang carry. And on the red side naman, you have PLDD Smart Omega. Creepsu sa kanyang Kaja, Exhort as the Kavita hit on the Minotaur. Toshi sa kanyang Ranger at Kenji naman on the show. Ayun, grabe. So, syempre, laning phase naman muna tayo. Wala masyadong mangyayari pa dyan. Pero, kita mo dito, oh, sa bandang baba ng mapa natin, yung pressure agad na nabigay ng isang carry against yep. the two. Naka-impure rage si Ribo, ah, on the Selena. Oh! Uy, grabe, first blood agad. Medyo off-cam kill tayo dun, ano? Pero magandang simula to para sa E-Pro team oh. natin. I think uh, Ribo was trying to get the steal. Tapos, fortunately for him, tinamaan niya yung kadita. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Pero ito, crab fight onto the top lane. 3v2 situation. Masesecure siya. I think ni Toshi ba? Naagaw ba ni Toshi? Um, curious to see. No, it was actually yeah, EJ, EJ pala. CJ. EJ, yeah. Yan ang uh, potential talaga ng Grok kapag hinampas ka ng maso ni uh, EJ dito. Talagang tutong baka. Ang laking-laking tao niyan. Laking pero tao ito, niyan. For PLD Smart Omega, well, relax lang naman sila. You have the Granger na gusto sila mag-peak farm. Pero ito, tinadive ko na sila ng Bren E Pro. Forced to flicker out si Hit doon. Medyo nasunog agad ang kanyang cooldown dito ng kanyang teleport. Pero okay lang naman. Sige, farm-farm muna tayo dito. Wala pa naman matinding bakbaka na pwedeng mangyari yata ulit. Like yung mga tipong 4v3 team fight or 5v5. Um, kasi wala pa naman din yung ating turtle. Yeah, pero ito na yung ano, ito na yung uh prowess ng line itong Brian Ebro, level 4 na si UG. So you are already, already have the first condition of your early game pressure up na. And yung Selena natin, umahabol na rin in terms of level. Ang ganda ng ginawa ng Ebro dito, no? they prioritize the uh, XP on the Harit. Kasi yung Selena, you should, oh, si uh, Kenji. Okay, off gum kill yeah, onto the bottom kill. lane in here. Kenji, nakuha ang ating carry doon. So medyo masama yun, knowing that early game time, meron na gandit ang ating carry onto the yep. side of Ebro. Meanwhile, onto the top, look at that, ultimate agad coming up from the UG, pero si Toshi, nako, pumapalag dito. Oh. Yun nga lang, na corner na hindi na nakawala. Heath, try to defend this uh, turret, and yun, successful man, but Coco will be cutting this minion wave onto the top. Nakapakabilis din ng cut ng minions niya doon. Yep, I like how uh, Bren Ebro is playing objectives right now. Alam nila na hindi nila kailangan rush yung team fight against PLD Smart Omega. There's a crucial window na kaya mong uh, labanan yung Ranger. So talaga ina-abuse ina lang nila Mino yung malita timing na yun. Oh, Heath! On to two, just to stop them from further pushing onto the top lane. Pero tingin mo na tayo sa bandang baba ng mapa natin. All alone is Kenji being zoned out ni EJ dyan. Para lang syempre, okay, kailangan na ng protection ni Yeli Hayes dito. Medyo nahihirapan na si Yeli Hayes going solo onto the bot. Kaya naman, okay, okay handa na si EJ na makipagbulihan dito sa bandang baba ng mapa natin. Wait, si Hayes pala yung ano, yung carry ah. Yes, siya yung nag-carry dito sa ating laro. Hindi si Ribo, di ba? Oo, oh, si Coco naman yung uh, nasa tank. Na, I believe this is a tank Teresa or fighter ano to. Ah, Kasi fighter, alam fighter natin, Teresa. si Yeli Hayes usually nagta-tank support siya. Yeah. Pero eto, tignan natin. Medyo tahimik ang mapa natin ngayon so far. Oh! Haro! Hindi ito tama kay Granger. Hindi ito mama. But Teresa, look at that damage din sa mga minions talaga. Allowing, eh, tinaalaw lang, na lang nila na masecure ng yep. E-Pro. Oh. Pero teka lang si EJ sa patagita ng mapa, hindi na naka-survive. Really pressured by that's that character. Uh, that's a crucial kill for PLD Smart Omega. That's the first kill of the game and that's the Grok. Talaga ma ma-hinder yung protection. Pero teka lang, pumasok protection. dito ang ating Chu. Grabe, flicker in sa yeah. go. Pa palagan natin itong nag-iisang ano, uh, carry. Pero teka lang, sa middle lane. Ako, grabe, nag force. force pa dito para lang masecure. Para hindi makaabante masyado ang Team Omega. This, may, may But no, hindi sila hihinto dito. Hit going in with that Minowan Fury. Pero flicker out para kay Crimson dito. Uh -oh. Coco going so low. At ayun na nga, hindi na makaka-survive. Exhort as well going so low. May wall tayo dito. Hit, meron pa naman pang dash away. Kaya safe, back to safety ang Team Omega. Heavy damage on the turret from UG with the Salmon Force, but that's easily punished here by PLDD Smart Omega. And I was about to say, no, no, yung moment na napatay ng, ng Omega yung Grok sa may middle lane, soon. that means na kaya pa pumatay na isa kasi walang protection yung Bren Epro sa may bottom lane. If, if hindi man nila mapatay yung uh, carry, at the very least, that's heavy turret damage. Pero Bren Epro, continuous objectives lang after the uh, takedown on the mid lane turret, turret okay. kagad agad. Sige, nakuha nila yan. Pero itong si Kuya Motoshi dito will secure tier 1 turret onto the top lane. Meanwhile, onto the bottom you can see EJ dito trying to zone out the members of Team Omega. Pero yun, nagamit niya nga lang yung kanyang dash. 
Oh, para lang makatakas. Nag-connect yung arrow dito, though of course hindi nila papalagaan. Medyo may kulang kulang pa sila in terms of level as well as equipment dito para pumalag sa tatlong membro ng e Omega yeah. team. There's a genius wand already up on the uh, Kadita. So talagang malilimit yung uh, tankiness ng Brain April dito. Oh, kasi pag may meltdown yung magic defense oh, dito, pero hindi nila. Oh, teka lang. Divine judgment dito para kay EJ kahit tanke ka pa. Didikit ka sa pader. Pero teka lang, i-burst down ka ng damage namin dito. One kill is gonna go to that uh, Kaja. Grabe yung overcommitment nila doon na Divine judgment at Way of the Dragon para lang mapatay. Para lang si mapatay. EJ. And very crucial kill kasi yan for PLDD Smart Omega. If you remove this hero na hindi mo uh, kayang labanan during the teamfight and kapag Pag kaya mo naman siya yung take-off, you take that single kill every single time. And of course, mawawalan doon ng protection. Yung carry exactly. na alam natin, nakapwesto sa bot. Pero ito na nga, Kenji providing a really good vision para oh sa team. Pero teka lang, ako dito, ako, medyo pala yung pwesto dito. Natatakasan sana niya. One more kill is gonna be secured by Team Omega. At yun na nga, kasama na si Granger dito on to the top. Looks like... Oy, EJ dito na mataan na naman. Mag-vision sana. Hanapin. Oh, if, they, if they see the Harit tsaka si Kari sa may bottom lane, talagang go-go ang Omega dito. Nagbabak si Kaja, wala siyang divine judgment. Hindi siya kailangan dito. Pero that means, kayang-kaya mag-push ng Omega on this turret. Even though there's a Grok defending this turret, kayang-kaya siyang uh, patayin dito. Kayang-kaya siya i-dive. And look at that. Immediately, tumalun ka agad si Exhort. Si Don, look at that, EJ. Getting punished sa top lane natin. Plus one more tur turret dito will be secured by E-Pro team. Pero teka lang, E-Pro naman did man to get one turret onto the bot as well yep. by making use of that damage coming from the Harith, the Selina as well as the carry. Pakikita na, mapapasin natin. Uy, pero teka lang, hindi survive yung judgment na naman tayo para kay Rebo, dashing away, will be surviving. Grabe, halos isolo kill niya yung Selina dun ha. Isang divine judgment lang, tsaka lightning bombs. Fortunately for the Selina, nakastun pa si Exhort during that engagement. Pero ito, PLD is Marta Mega, they actually want to take the objective. Turtle naman daw, sino makakakuha? Oh, nanakaw! Ni Granger! Nasecure pa ng Team Omega natin, Coco going so low. Yuji tried to free hit off to the backline, pero ganun naman si Kuya Matoshi dito. Free hitting off to the backline, hit will fall down. Kaya yun na nga, hindi na naka-survive. Toshi dito, isang hit pa para kay EJ. EJ, nako, nabura sa mapa. Kenji? Oh, Kenji, pwede niyang habulin si Yuji dito. Weto Dragon, hindi niya hindi niya maikabit. And two mages yung inahab niya dito. Arrow, hindi. Hindi siya tatamaan. Soon po out. Kenji, ena. Sinipa na. Si Yuji, wala siyang mana. Hindi makalabas. Hindi na nakatakas ang ating Harith doon. Anong nangyari dito, Midnight? Look at that gold lead na meron ng Omega right now. It seems like, it seems like sometimes parang may laban yung Ipro. Pero teka lang dito, 1v1. Sasama mo ka ng Coco dito. Kamuntikan na si Eli Hayes doon. With a true damage, nakakuha siya ng advantage. Arrow, hindi tatama kay Kripsu. And Kenji, he's just trying to steal the buff away from Bren E. Pro, but it's gonna be protected here by the Grok. EJ, who is going to get it? He's not going to get it. It's sort of taken down. Ripsu, though, going solo. Tamang Mamba out na lang muna. Buhay na buhay dito si Kuya Mo. EJ having that full HP bar. Heath trying to back away. Of course, ito na mga members natin ng E. Pro. Basically, titignan-tignan lang siya sa mapa dito. Unless they got really the advantage on... Or unsecuring the kill. Nandito na si Ribo. No? Unfortunately, malapit na sa Torres. So, they will back away. Yep. Brenny Pro, again, you have this uh, zone control against PLD Smart Omega. The reason why napapatay lagi si Kadita is oh? dun din naglalaro. Yun din yung idea ni Kadita. You play around this certain zone na gustong gusto mong mag-initiate uh, ng teamfight. Pero sinabi natin kanina, it's the Minotaur. Dapat yung Minotaur yung nagaharap ng opening dito for PLD Smart Omega. And the reason why uh, nakuha na ng Brenny Pro yung teamfight natin kanina, although yung extended teamfight was won by PLD Smart Omega, it's because of the Terizla. Talagang zinozone out niya lang mm -hmm. si Kadita. Isa sa mga mapapansin mo, no? bakit ba nag-snowball agad itong uh, team E-Pro, e uh, I mean team Omega, Omega natin. Kasi nakita naman natin, 2-2 naman yung score. Naka, mm -hmm. On early game time, parang balance. Tapos biglang, uh, in a spur of moment, biglang nag-snowball yata. Parang yeah. pa, pa 5k na yung lead mm -hmm. nila a while ago. What is happening? Honestly, yung first kill kay Grok, again, minention natin ito kanina, sobrang critical nung kill na yun. Kasi the moment na ma mawala si EJ sa mapa, it gives two access points sa... Ane, mm -hmm. sa PLD is Smart Omega, you can go to the top lane, you can go to the bottom lane. And mas juicy, yung nakita nila sa buwa. Kasi it's just a carry. Anong gagawin ng carry, di ba? Yes. Even if hindi nila mapatay si carry, that's the turret na pwedeng-pwede nilang patayin. Yung Bren E Pro, busy-busy sa may turret, sa may top lane, ikaw, 
you're already knocking on the front door. Kasi pag nabasag mo yung turret, sino lang yung magde-defend doon? Again, carry lang yun eh. And nakita rin natin na first blood ata ang ating carry a while ago. Uh, oh, it was an right. off-cam kill yeah. uh, against Genji. the Chu. Yeah. Yes. So I think naging factor din yun. Mm -hmm. Kaya nakasnowball din agad yung Team Omega natin. But then again, tignan natin kung kaya pang balik na rin ng uh, Team E-Pro, yung mundo na ginagalawa nila ngayon against Team Omega. At ito nga, nasa game na tayo. The problem that Bren Ipro is facing right now no, is, again, wala silang true catch. Ang, ang uh, hope lang nila na makapag-initiate sila ng teamfight is either may ma-isolate na target from the side of PLD ni Smart Omega or may tamaan ng arrow si Selina. Arrow talaga. Kailangan talagang makatama yung arrow ng Selina natin dito. Yep. Or else, oh, ito, tulad yes, dito, man. will they go for the engage? Ito, lumapit na si EJ dito. Inuntok sa pader. Kripsu, go, we solo. Oh, Kripsu, nabuhay pa! Grabe, buhay, nabuhay pa. Sinundan ng damage That's the natin down. dito. With oh, the Fury! The Fury! Playing safe, we can see Omega. Okay, balik mo na sila sa tori yep. nila. And of course, kuha mo na ng buff. Pero tignan mo dito, si Chu. Anong ginagawa niya? Splitting Team... the map lang, kinukuha lang yung buff ng At, Bren Ipro. Yes, definitely. Tinatanggalan na ng resources exactly. ang Ipro natin dito. I really like the discipline from PLG Smart Omega. Although, Comanek yung nakakatakot na combination ng uh, Minoan Spirit sa Ocean Arty. Nahuli pa sa gilid! Kamuntikan pa si Ribo dito. Muntik na talaga. Pero again, yung disiplina ng Omega... Even if Komonek, yung Minoan Spirit, tsaka yung Ocean Oddity, they know na wala si Kenji doon nga teamfight and they don't want to give any further kills to Bren Ipro. That's why they backed out and immediately reset para makuha nila yung Lord hanggat hindi pa ready yung Bren Ipro. Grabe, ang ganda rin ang vision na meron dito ang uh, Team Omega natin right now. They're controlling the map so far. It's yeah. turning red na rin naman. They got the six man in here, which is the Lord. Um, sobrang ano, sobrang critical lahat ng information na pinapakita ng uh, Bren Ipro. You'd expect na Bren yung umaabuso nang nakikita nila sa mapa. Pero right now, hindi nila iniingatan yung nakikita ng PLD ni Smart Omega. That's why they're able to make those movements na ginawa nila ng early game. And right now, Ayun. talagang binabasa ka nila sila unti-unti. Oh my goodness, a while ago tinanong kita, ilan nga ba yung, ilang minuto nga ba yung naging first game nila? Almost 12 minutes or basta less than 15. Pero ito parang ganun na naman yata oh, yung arrow. gustong gawin ng Omega team natin. The Lord is here out to the top, defending right now is E-Pro team. What can they do? This inhibitor turret out to the top Let's is down. about to fall down. Hindi inabot ng Lord, pero sa middle lane natin, makikita mo din si Kenji going for the turret, hmm. takes a mid. Anong nangyayari, Midnight? What can Ipro possibly do pa kaya dito? It's very hard for Bren Ipro to fight kasi inihintay din nila yung Divine Judgment ni Kaja. Pero hindi ginagamit hindi, ng Omega. Hindi ginagamit ni Kripso, sabi mabait. niya. Exactly, hindi nga nila mabait. Kasi ang ginagawa ni Kripso, okay lang, kayang-kaya naman basakin ng mga kakampi ko yan. Bakit kumamadaliin yung team fight? Yes. Kasi kapag nag-Divine Judgment si Kaja rito, tapos napunish nila ng Bren Ipro, isolated yung targets ng uh, uh, PLDD Smart Omega dito. So it's gonna be very hard for them to actually find a team fight na mga kapag Minoan Spirit na maayos yung Minotaur. Definitely. And ito, tamang patience test muna dito sa ating mga bush. Nakita natin kanina nagpatama sana ng arrow dyan ng Selena, but... No, Omega being so mindful on where they're gonna position themselves. Okay, atras tayo dyan. Let, them, let them assume na wala tayo dyan sa, sa bush na yan. May Queen Swing si, ano, si Kenji. <laughs> Additional layer of sustain. Mm -hmm. And although... Well, well it's ano, it's uh, additional layer of sustain nga for the show. Eh, kita mo naman, zero death. <laughs> well, I would have opted for, ano, for uh, other items to be honest. Well, they are the pro. Alam na, alam yeah. siguro, as, we're, cast, <laughs> we're casting. They know what they are doing. There's a Berserkus Fury up on the Granger. I didn't see kung anong item meron Ayun, si uh, Harit dito. Pero I'm assuming may concentrated energy na siya. So meron na siyang additional layer of sustain Ito. with the uh, spell bomb at yung sheets niya. Ayun, Divine Judgment na nga oh naman galing kay Kaja dito. Airborne si Coco. Makakatakas pa kaya. Ako ng Bleaker in dito. Oh, the Fury! Ang ating Minotaur did connect the Minotaur Fury hit. Going solo, makakasustain. Oh my god! Kenji! The two plays! And make the game with a 2-0 score! Hindi pinansentri na baho lang. PLDD Smart Omega.